Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nori News. I am your host, Green Lee. And it's really early in the morning right now. I don't usually record this early in the morning, so I'm very tired. So if I make any mistakes or errors while talking, even though I do that all the times anyway, I'll probably be doing it like two times more. So just a little warning there if I end up speaking like a minute. I'm stupid or something. Let's begin Nori News with the gaming topics as per usual. Dragon Ball Fighters new patch notes were revealed uh, at the Dragon Ball Fighter show this month, obviously. I think it was the 9th of August. Uh, and the patch notes are now out. The new version of Fighters is out. And it's crazy. It's like a completely different game. It's like Dragon Ball Fighters 2. It's, you know, they were so. Uh, they loved Fighters so much and they wanted to get Fighters 2 out so much, they just turned Fighters into Fighters 2. I mean, that's literally what it is. Uh, so there's tons of new mechanics, tons of characters got buffed, like Goku Black and Samusu, and then other characters got heavily nerfed, like Jiren, uh, IP his counter. But yes, it's just, you know, patch notes, pretty much Dragon Ball Fighters is now a completely different game. Um, uh, uh, this Rage game, right? called Pico Park has recently been getting very popular. The popularity keeps increasing with this game. Uh, I, I was almost about to say uh, a brand new Rage game, but this game is not new. This game came out in like 2018, I think. Uh, but it's only getting popular now. And it's fun. I can see why. It is an amazing game. It's so simple, but so fun with, to play with friends. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to play more Pico Park in the future with my friends. Also, sorry about that little lag, but... You know, you know my laptop already. It sucks. Uh, Gamescom opening night live happened recently, yeah, like very recently. Uh, and of course, if you don't know what Gamescom is, it's very similar to the Summer Game Fest at Game Awards in the sense that tons of games are revealed. Uh, and it's, it's amazing. Uh... I haven't seen day three yet. I think there is a day three. I've seen all of day one, which is which is the opening night live, and then I've seen a little bit of day two, I think, or most of it. Day one was definitely better though for the game of feels. Like they released so many crazy games, which I'm gonna go over some of them. Particularly my favourites that I've, you know, just decided to take out of the three hour live stream that they did. So let's begin with midnight. Fight Express. This is a game made by a single developer. One person made this and they did a fantastic job because it looks amazing. Like, it's essentially just a fighting game, really. Uh, not like Mortal Kombat or anything, it's just like you're running around, uh, bird's eye view, camera angle, and you're just fighting people. It's really over the top, really silly, but it's really fun and it looks great. And it's coming out next year, I think. Halo Infinite multiplayer trailer was shown at the Gamescom uh, opening night live. And it looks pretty cool. Just like, you know, I was expecting it to. Halo Infinite looks co way better than what they've shown, like, back at the Xbox presentation, like, way back uh, at the start of the year, I think. But Halo Infinite, can't wait for it. Definitely gonna get it. Uh, this next game caught me by surprise because it looks really innocent. Uh, which it, it still is, even with the battling mechanics, but uh, I was just not expecting the battling to look so clean and so epic. This game is called Dokifi, or Dokifi, I think that's what it's called. It's a game set in uh, Korea, uh, and as you see, it looks like a little friendly game, like uh, Animal Crossing, no fighting and fishing and all that, but no, there is fighting in it, and it's chaotic. There's like lightning coming down everywhere, you can summon giant hammers, the, the bad lane reminds me a bit of Kingdom Hearts, if you've ever played that game. Uh, yeah, looks great. I might actually get it, surprisingly. Mostly just for the jokes, but it looks it actually doesn't look that bad. Horizon Forbidden West release date trailer was finally shown at the Gamescom uh, event. Uh, and I believe it is the 18th of February next year. I could be wrong. Uh, I'll probably put it up on the screen if I am wrong. But yeah, 18th of February next year. Can't wait. Still haven't even finished the first game because it's just so big and I'm too lazy to actually play it for like many hours every single day. But 
Can't wait for this game. Looks fantastic. Uh, speaking of Horizon, Genshin Impact is having a crossover with Horizon Forbidden West. This crossover alone makes me want to download Genshin Impact again because I love uh, Aloy, the main character of Horizon. She's so cool. She's a cool character. Actually, I like a lot of the characters in Horizon. I feel like they've done a good job of making their characters. Which is why Genshin Impact having a crossover with another PlayStation rep. Uh, it's very cool to see. But I might or might not get it. But I, I, I have a feeling I might get it again just because of that crossover. Marvel Midnight Suns trailer was also shown at Gamescom. Uh, it's like a brand new Marvel game, obviously. Uh, they made they made a new superhero just for this game, which you can customize to whatever way you see fit, which is cool actually. And I don't know, they probably won't. But if this game got like popular enough, they might actually make like a movie or something about the character, and uh, I think it's a she her story, in this world in Marvel. They might not do that though. Maybe it might be an animated movie because of the fact that you can customize the characters, so it'd probably make more sense for it to be animated. But it's just, you know, so cool. All of them wearing the gold and black and stuff. It just looks amazing. New Saints Row game. Like, uh, I think it's a reboot. I've never played a Saints Row game ever, so forgive me, but. I heard they were a fantastic game series, and it's loved by the community a lot. So this new one that was revealed at Gamescom, might actually get it, because it looks fun. I've seen the gameplay trailer and the cinematic trailer. Not really much to say there, because I don't know anything about Saints Row. Uh, Call of Duty Vanguard trailer. New Call of Duty game. Literally, like, a couple of months after releasing Cold War. I'm pretty sure Cold War came out this year as well. How are you uploading two games in the same year? I don't know. Unless Cold War was last year and I'm just being stupid, but pretty sure Cold War is this year though. But yeah, it looks better than Cold War. I will say that. It looks better than Cold War. But I probably won't get it because I've had enough of buying Call of Duty games now. As much as I love them, I just I just had enough of buying them. Uh, speaking of uh, Call of Duty, Warzone Train Event. It was meh. Hmm. Just a train that you, that you try to blow up and then you get bombed by like 60 million planes. Anyways, enough about Call of Duty. Super Animal Royale is now on consoles. Uh, Cheeto Head told me about this game uh, a while back. I got it on my computer. Very fun. and uh, It's such a simple game, but it's very fun. But now it's on consoles, so I can actually play it now without lag. So I might be streaming this game soon maybe depends depends how uh stuff at college is going because i'm going to college very soon uh but yeah nothing really cool there i guess it's just that this very fun game is now on consoles now that's it for the gaming news uh there was a lot more but of course uh i wasn't for every single gaming thing i saw in here because in this northern news would be like three hours long like so much was announced at Gamescom. But now on to other news. Uh, the Suicide Squad movie is out. I watched it with Ben and Monkey. Great movie. Probably one of my favorite DC movies of all time, actually. Uh, I can't really say much about it without spoiling it. So uh, we're just going to leave it at to it's a very good movie. <laughs> uh, new Hell of a Boss episode is out, episode 6. And that was also very spectacular. Uh, because... I was a bit late watching it compared to everyone else, but when I did, it was amazing. You know, the uh, the the company, I think they're called Dorks, uh, D-H-O-R-K-S, uh, they're like the FBI, sort of, and uh, they, you know, they capture Blitz and, uh, and Moxie, and it's just a very fun episode altogether. Uh, very freaky at the end as well. I actually forgot what I was talking about. Well, I remember saying it was a good episode. <laughs> So yeah, good episode. <laughs> uh, Sonic Colors, Rise of the Wisps, uh, animations are out. The first short animations, uh, only two episodes, and this is like a full version that's like all two in one episode. Uh, they're all right, decent enough, uh, all right voice acting, you know, it was just a short for YouTube, you know, to promote the new Sonic Colors Ultimate game. Nothing really crazy there. Star Wars Visions, yes, 
Star Wars anime coming to Disney Plus. I think either this year or next year. It looks amazing. This is probably my most hyped thing in this entire script today. Other than uh, probably like, you know, Halo Infinite. But definitely Star Wars Visions anime. Can't wait to see that. I think it's like six, seven short stories by different anime studios. So the animation is going to be different each time. And it's fa fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Okay, and that does it for the other news section of Naughty News. Now for channel news. This is part of Naughty News where I shout out one lucky viewer, friend or subscriber. Uh, and the day shout out goes to Nebula Films. Congratulations, Nebula Films. Uh, this is a channel that's owned by Risky Potato and Dr. Goose. They do uh, fan films. Or like things like Doctor Who. I was in the newest one. In the recording of this video. And uh, I gotta say... I loved being a part of it. But like I was saying, congratulations on the shout out and thank you once again for having me in your very well made Doctor Who fan film. So yes, make sure to check out Nebula Films in the description below. Uh, there is no weather report for this month of Naughty News because uh, Weatherman Ben is taking a break from Naughty News. Uh, he might be back. Uh, I'm thinking he probably will be back, but he's just going to be taking a break for a while. But he he is he is always welcome to come back. So you know, it is what it is. So this is where the video ends. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to check out my Discord server as well as my other socials like Instagram and Twitter. And yeah. Tell me what you think. Also, once again, very sorry that this video cut out a lot. My computer sucks. Anyways, see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.